7. Modern Mustafs in Ancient Marrakesh Marrakesh, the fourth largest city in Morocco, has a history dating back thousands of years. And while that makes the city a terrific travel destination for history buffs, Marrakesh is ever modernizing, with plenty of new restaurants, hotels, nightlife hotspots, and other attractions popping up constantly. Here, seven new, and new-ish, places to hit up on your next visit to the city. The Source One of Marrakesh's latest hotel openings is The Source, which offers intimate accommodation in 13 rooms, all of which are completely different, and completely outstanding. You don't need to check in to check it out, enjoy a cocktail in the rosemary scented bar while looking out on an elegant swimming pool surrounded by stylish deck chairs and furniture. Or treat yourself to Indonesian-inspired services at the spa and local food in the restaurant, made from herbs and vegetables growing in the hotel gardens. T. Fella Hotel Is it a spa? A Berber farm? A house of culture? The newly opened Bo'o Sheik Fella Hotel somehow ticks all the boxes. And does it well, too. As if that wasn't enough. There's also a library of more than 10,000 books to enjoy while taking in the stunning vistas of the majestic Atlas Mountains. The 10 hotel villas are beautifully scattered in a desert garden full of wooden sculptures, orange trees, and a sea of sweet-smelling thyme, rosemary, and lavender. Visitors can gather eggs and pet donkeys at the micro-farm, and indulge in wapo massages at the spa, before tucking into long, satisfying meals in the traditional restaurant. It's the only place in Morocco that I've so far eaten tagine with lobster, that alone is worth the trip back. Fellahotel.com Royal Mansur Hammam Royal Mansur is by far Marrakesh's most grandiose hotel. It's like its very own Medina, but not in the lively, vivacious version you get with the real deal outside its walls. No, this is as refined, ritzy and regal as it gets. The grounds are enormous and cover 53 different terracotta color dry ads, dotted around gardens with fountains, ponds, and pools. Discretion is key, staff moves around via underground passageways so as not to disturb the guests. I've never been able to afford a stay here and, truth be told, I prefer my accommodation on the more personal side. But I still visit, not to check in but to check out the royal spa. It's spread over three dazzlingly white floors with an atrium surrounded by wrought iron that makes me think of a colossal birdcage. The pool lies in its very own orangery, and the many treatments are done with products made from local ingredients such as dates, argan oil, and oranges. I love the Watsa soaks and the Swish spa sweets. But nothing, nothing in the world, beats the traditional Northern African hammam ceremonies. Nomad With its austere modern interior design, Nomad looks like it should be in Gelitz, the area of Marrakesh also known as Newtown. But who doesn't like to be surprised? Nomad is located close to the Spice Square Rabaladima, which is almost impossible to find. But trust me, it's worth looking for. Once you've gone through the doors you'll find yourself in a dining room where old traditions fuse amazingly well with fresh flavors. From your table, you'll be able to watch the hustle and bustle on the square outside in unspoiled relaxation. I recommend ordering a beautifully crisp pasta and filled with vegetables and goat cheese, followed by calamari from the coastal town of Agadir paired with a very original cumin and anchovy sauce. Round it all off with Nomad's imaginative take on clafawutas with beet and carob ice cream. Incredible! Before you leave, make sure you pass through their shop, to be chic located on the ground floor. They sell some of the city's most interesting pantry goods, which would make perfect souvenirs. Maison Lab Interior designer Martin Raffone commutes between New York and Marrakesh, and has recently opened his very own furniture shop in the Medina. Here, pastoral Morocco meets modern Manhattan, and home furnishings and decor items mostly made by Raffone himself. Though there are also objects for sale that have been handpicked and collected during Raffone's travels around the globe. Raffone's top interior design tip. Buy an antique rug, they'll immediately give your home a rustic Moroccan touch without feeling like you're trying too hard, he says. David Block Gallery Whenever I travel to Marrakesh, 
I had for at least one museum or gallery I haven't visited before, and every time I find myself more impressed. You could easily spend your whole Marrakesh holiday just soaking up its arts and culture. My advice is to start with a visit to David Block Gallery. It was among the first artistic establishments to open in the area, and over time the graffiti-clad building has become a significant platform for young, local artists from all around the Mediterranean. The exhibitions cover everything from street art to calligraphy. Lately I've seen both Sebastian Priest Cooks's wooden sculptures and paintings by the famed artist Alex and Isaacs. Check what's currently showing on the website, or don't, and just show up. Next up, the new Yves Saint Laurent Museum in Galitz, which is where the city's foremost art galleries are located. Riyadh Yima If you ever wondered what Moroccan kitsch might look like, your search is over. Riyadh Yima is the most flamboyant pop art hotspot in the Medina. Hassan Hajjaj, a well-known and celebrated photographer and film director also known as the Moroccan Andy Warhol, is its mastermind. At Riyadh Yima, his imagination, combined with the passion for sustainability and recycled materials, has been running wild. The end result is a gallery comme boutique filled with furniture made from old traffic signs, lampshades created by fusing old fish cans together, and pillow covers sawn out of time-worn umbrellas. You'll also find shirts, caftans, Hajjaj's very own streetwear brand, Rap London, as well as a huge collection of his photography. When you're done shopping, head for the swanky courtyard and order a pot of mint tea. If Hajjaj himself is manning the shop that day, he might even join you.